Hello, this is Andrew McGill, the graphics director at the National Journal and also an amateur electronics enthusiast. I'm here to talk today about the Internet of Things, a new phenomena that could change our world. So the Internet of Things has been in the news a lot recently, and we have a story about it this week in the magazine. But what exactly is it? Basically, it's just a series of electronics that can physically connect to the Internet and be controlled remotely. A uh, common example is the Nest thermostat, which you put on your wall and you can control from your phone to change things in your house. And these all sound very complicated, but they're actually becoming really simple to make at home. What we'll be talking about today and we'll be making today is what I like to call the Barack Obama detector. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a series of LEDs and I'm going to connect them to my Arduino and I'm going to connect the Arduino to the internet. Now I already set up a special server that is looking at Barack Obama's schedule every 30 minutes or so. So we're going to connect to that website and it's going to tell us exactly where he is. And what the Arduino is going to do is it's going to read that site and it's going to turn on one of the three LEDs depending on where the president is. It'll turn on one LED if he's in Washington, it'll turn on a second LED if he's in America, and it'll turn on a third LED if he's somewhere abroad. So let's take a look at the components we'll be working with. So the actual Arduino is only about the size of the deck of cards. What I've done here is attach it to a breadboard base with a breadboard next to it, and that's that long structure right here with the holes in it. That lets us make electrical connections easily without soldering, which is something I don't want to get into today at the office. What I've also done is attach an Ethernet shield to the top of the Arduino. That's an extra component that will allow us to connect to the internet. Every day, Barack Obama publishes his schedule, and it's available online, but it's only there if you actually go to his site or if you've signed up for his alerts. What I want to do is make a device that can sit on your desktop and tell you where he is at any given point in time, and I can do it in less than an hour with the Arduino. Okay, there we go, perfect. So what just happened is that the Arduino successfully connected to the server, which is finally pulling down the White House press releases correctly, and it lit up the bulb that means that Obama is in Washington. He actually is in the Oval Office right now. 